Nato here. And Ray here looking, oh jeez. Oh really, right as we're starting recording. Duh. We'll be back. And we're back. Just had to yell at Sue for a bit. Ray looking through a window here. Hey. Oh, wait a second. <laughs> uh, a nocturne tail. Ah, yes. <laughs> A nocturne tale indeed. Okay, so anyways, uh, Ray is exploring this building and... Uh, I shouldn't have gone upstairs, should I? Yes, you should have gone upstairs. Oh, okay, good. So, you know, go around, talk to everybody, enter uh, every door, take chances, make mistakes, get messy, you know, the old anthem and so on. Not really. I don't, I don't know. Wait, you never watched Magic School Bus? No. Really? You never watched Magic School Bus? I'm kidding, I did. You get into the headquarters from here in the main hall, but if you get too close, you'll be arrested. You guys still have police with all these demons going around? The mantra squeezed Bagatsuki from us. Cool. Look at me in the dark. Oh yeah, I'm on nightlight. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, you guys again. Wait, should I fight them? It's totally up to you. You're gonna be exploring uh, for the most part and stuff like that. But anyways, it has been a while uh, since uh, we've actually done the last recording. Indeed. Yeah, so uh, some time has passed. Things have changed. I have played World of Final Fantasy. Oh no! <laughs> ah yes, anybody who's kept up with this video series is probably like uh, familiar with the great tirade I went on in regards to it. Oh no, he rolled his R's. You know he's serious, guys. <laughs> Hey, wait, who are you? Who are you there? Uh, I'm afraid to talk to you, but I will anyway. We are the strong. What's wrong with enslaving weak mannequins? Yeah! <laughs> makes, might makes right. Alright. Good sport. Anywho. Hmm. And, uh, like... We're oppressed. We're worked to death. Woe is me. Life's too short. But you're mannequins. You don't have a lifespan. They just have to stab you, though, and then you're dead. Alright. <clears throat> and uh, I do believe that I went over about how playing the game has changed my... Oh, did you explore everywhere on top? I didn't see anything else to go into. The two doors... Uh, yeah, it's but uh, there's... You know, did you like, at least scour the right side, make sure there's no treasure chest or anything over there? Didn't see nothing. Okay. Weird floor tiles. Interesting. So, uh, just make your way downstairs now. But yeah, I went on and explained how actually playing the game has changed my views on things and stuff like that. For a more in-depth explanation of that, like I'm gonna leave a link to the Dragon Quest videos <laughs> by Mitsuyoi that has those. But if you've been keeping up with these recordings, uh, our viewers saw all that stuff last week. But anyways, uh, I found some stuff that I can get into detail that's actually very relevant to what we're playing right now. So a big thing about uh, World of Final Fantasy is capturing monsters to build your own monster team and stuff like that, which is pretty cool and neat, you know, doing the Pokemon thing and what have you. The thing is though, with the way the gameplay works in World of Final Fantasy, I am doing stuff in there I never did for any type of bond catching game in the past. You know, certainly nothing I've ever done for any type of uh, Pokemon game or anything like that. And nothing I've ever done in any Final Fantasy game for that matter. I mean, I never would have thought that I would be buffing the enemy just so I didn't royally destroy them when <laughs> I attacked them. <laughs> okay. So, this game is an RPG, which means that if you stick around and beat up enough stuff that you're going to get really strong. The thing is, this can have negative consequences with how you go about capturing monsters. The mantra is run by Gozu Tenno's right-hand man named Thor. They extend the monster finally look like an organization, only because they have Thor at their side. Hmm. Yeah. So the way that you capture creatures is that they all have a uh, a capture state that you have to put them in by fulfilling a condition of some sort. The most easiest is that uh, deal like enough damage to lower its HP, and uh, luckily that game actually has a move. To, that's like a move in Pokemon, a false swipe, I think it is, mm. to where you hurt them, but no matter what, you'll never be a death blow onto them. That is really handy when you're like a level 30 character and you're trying to capture a level 2 monster. Unfortunately, this is not very good when you're trying to capture monsters that have utter wind conditions, uh, utter capture conditions. 
I see. I saw a human boy into the monstrous headquarters. That must be, that must be uh, that guy I named. Joey Jojo? No, that was what Suyoi did. <laughs> the cur. I should look at what that word means someday. I'm just gonna assume it's like general slang, like incorrigible sort of is. Oh, I meant okay. to say general insult, not general slang. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure cur is like supposed to be very negative in connotation or something. Like uh, in the olden days when one would be like, I bite my thumb at you. Yeah. I'm gonna say like, uh, out of all the iterations of Romeo and Juliet, I really like the modern day uh, movie that they made of it. Uh, it starred Leonardo, uh, uh, Leonardo, Leonardo? Not Leonardo. I'm, Are you trying to say Leonardo DiCaprio? Yes. <laughs> it starred that guy. I wasn't actually sure if you were trying to at first. Uh, to where it was all set in a modern day setting, but they still had it word for word from like uh, Shakespeare's classic and stuff like that. Yeah. And it was like even during the big fight scene to where like, I draw my sword on you. And he pulls out a gun, but as he's pulling out the gun, you see like um, engraved on it, it says sword 9mm. <laughs> You guys are silly, just stop it. So yeah, like they totally like, uh, played it up. Uh, by, like Just classic Shakespeare, but set in a modern set. And loved Oof. it. You know, gang warfare and all that stuff. Don't go up those stairs. Hey, wait a minute. That stairway over there. If I can get the camera to work, <laughs> I'll look over there. That stairway looks like a place I remember for trailers with Dante up there. Well, there's lots of blood in the ground I'm noticing, I think. Or skid marks. Yeah. I wanted to talk to that guy, but I don't want to get close to the stairs if it's that dangerous. Okay. Now this oh, is like a fairly big place that uh, you're going into. Ah. It's going to take a bit more. Oh, going to try. There we go. So yeah, uh, creatures... Uh... Oh. Uh huh? Uh, okay. Let me ask you, do you have a spare life stone? No. There's nothing to talk about. Then farewell. He just left. Mm. I expected the battle to just be over. Well, kick his butt! Oh, shoot, I just remembered something that we never showed off. What was that? Uh, during the break, uh, you summoned like, and created all the creatures that you could create that's available to you. I see. And you left all of that with like your choice of monsters that you would be taking on your adventure with you. We should show off who like your monsters are that you currently have with you. Well, I have Uzume and the Unicorn because he's got dark and bright might because we figured out that awesome thing. <laughs> now if it's brightest moon or darkest night, it'll kick everybody's butt. And I gave dark might to Pyrojack because love Pyrojack. He's going to nag everybody to death. <laughs> And Ugami, I don't know why I don't have him on the team right now. Man, who cares? <laughs> I got this snooty, snooter, and I forgot why I have him. That's right, I need a lightning guy, even though I have those gems. Hmm. But it's helpful. It's helpful to have these kinds of guys once in a while. And then there's me! Oh, I gotta bring me everywhere. Oh, man, it's great. <laughs> oh, uh, how close I am on the level up. I could take a look. And I have 616. Okay. And you have a Magatama setup that's going to teach you something. Yeah. Pretty sure we did that a year ago. <laughs> it hasn't been that long. <laughs> I had counter set up to pick up next. Yeah, because then we could get them out of the way and move on with our lives with these. Get more stuff later. Okay. And you do have Inugami and Nozuchi on your main party, right? Because the main reason you have those is that they'll actually evolve once you hit a certain level. That's right, that's why they're even here. I was trying to think, what do I even have? <laughs> Thanks for reminding me, I completely forgot. Okay. So, I need to battle some guys. Soon goes Oteno! will order us to attack the assembly of Nihilo. I can't wait! Okay. Okay, so, yeah, you go on with your exploration, I'll go on back to my thing. As long as there's no more people to talk to, oh, jeez, uh, where am I right now? In a big oh. old building, don't worry, it's sectioned off. So, uh, there's not too much worry about getting lost. I messed up and got caught. They dragged me out of the great underpass. Okay. So, just a ghost off to your right and a treasure chest to the below. Oh, jeez. Not you guys again. All of you guys. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, getting creatures to get their uh, capture conditions to just pop so that you have a chance to capture them can be quite annoying. Uh, especially when you have creatures that are like, deal fire damage to this creature or like uh, inflict sleep upon it or in induce poison on it or something like that. I see. Yeah. Actually the whole status elements, that's not too bad because uh, there's this character that sells stuff and she'll actually sell items that are really good at just straight up inflicting status elements. And at some point she even goes on and she sells magical items that can deal like the weakest version of a spell and stuff like that. 
Now, there used to be these four Oni in the mantra, but they made Thor angry and were kicked out. I heard they become thieves. Those four were real strong. Ever heard of them? No. Mm. All I know about good old Red Ogre and Blue Ogre. Mm. Oh, or Pulse Bell. That's something new. And it sounds like the white bottle of Herrick comparative to this game. <laughs> Since this area sectioned off, should I go through that door? Uh, yeah. Right. Onward. Right. So, uh, the thing is, though, my characters are so strong that even weak stuff is like one-shotting enemies. Like, for example, there's this little shark creature that has, like, a good resistance against fire. And in order to allow me to capture this shark creature, I need to use a fire spell on it. So I was like, okay, I have this one creature that has the... What's up? The ominousness over there. Hold on, let me see if I can make the camera look at it. <laughs> Once more. There we go. Not exactly. Come on! <laughs> there we go. There's like some ominous stuff glowing in there, and I'm trying to figure out what am I looking at. Looks like a pile of rubble. Hmm. Looks like another pile of bodies, like what you saw at that graveyard. Could be. So it could just be mannequins that got all the uh, life force drained out of them, or just left to rot. The mouth have a facility for draining Magatsuhi for mannequins. Well, there you go. <laughs> all of our friends are being drained right now. That answers that. Hmm. Which means the middle door I didn't use. Would just lead you to a dead end of... Oh no, actual mannequins. Uh... Which means I need to go back down this hallway. Ah. <laughs> right, so, for example, uh, okay, I, uh, I'm trying to capture this shark creature, and I have, like, uh, my weakest magic user just to throw out, like, a, uh, a fire charm or something like that. They cast, like, a weak fire spell, and I still kill it. <laughs> I was like, this creature not only has resistance against fire, I use my weakest magic user, and I still kill the thing trying to get it set up so that I can throw a Pokeball at it with the hopes of even trying to capture it. Because even when you activate their uh, capture chance conditions, it still does the Pokemon thing. You have to throw a sphere at it and you have to hope it like makes three chimes, otherwise you're not going to get it. It's just going to break free. Wow, so all the jokes I heard of, it's basically Pokemon were for true. <laughs> Granted, the most egregious I've heard of that claim was from Pro Jared, and I usually know what he's talking about. Because usually he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> yeah, but, like, you know, this stuff has some things that I wish kind of Pokemon would do. What? Oh, okay, it was a discrepancy on the map at that particular angle. I find it weird when stuff does that. Mm. It's like, it looked like there's an extra divot, and I thought there was, like, a hidden door. Yeah. Kind of like the horrible screen problem with Smash 4 and the grid on the touch screen that you have to use. Except there's the whoa, oh, almost wrong one. Except there's a problem with it, that, that, that because it's on the smaller gamepad screen, some of the lines just disappear, which is not what you want to have happen when you're using a grid and you can't see a set of lines. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just that was that really bothered me back then. Understandable. We all have our buttons. But, uh, so, but one of the things I like that they do, that I wish Pokemon would do, was that if you evolve a creature, you can still change it to one of its previous forms. And not only that, if it has something related on its family tree, you can change it over to that. Like, uh, for example, let's take the Chocobos. Ooh. Now, you know how there are all kinds of Chocobos, right? Yeah. There's the Choco Chick, the Chocobo, the White Chocobo, the Golden Chocobo. Oh, right. Uh, this. More health. Counter! Okay, so, uh, where's counter gonna go? Let's see. Well, I don't exactly need counter, but what did I think I would be needing to get rid of? Ice boost, right? Mm -hmm. We had our get rid of skill area. <laughs> I don't exactly plan on having counter, but it's gonna be hard to find something to get rid of on everything else, all these elements I got. What am I missing, actually? I got fire, ice, tornado, and, I need wind, and, uh, I need lightning, that's right. Yeah, you just need lightning, and then you're pretty much good to go. I even have this good physical thing, if all I can, like, perfect with it. I mean, critical. Oh, well, you just need a uh, high life. Oh, giving up counter. Yeah. Okay. Well, that certainly is gonna distinguish you from Suyo. Whoa, whoa! Uh, I didn't press anything, and it just mashed through that. Really? You yes. I, I pressed X once and then it just clicked through all that. It scared me. I was like, what happened? Well, uh, it engulfs me in with area of light. Please tell me your controller isn't trying to break, is it? I wouldn't think so. I've had it for years and uh, it hasn't like uh, given up on me yet. 
I could have swore you had like an alternative player two one that I like the D-pad broke and I was like, what? What? I can snap the right side. Yeah, somehow. that's the player two controller. I know. That's not the player one. Controller. I was just like, how did that happen? But then I think it was that we figured out like, oh, it must have been you and your happy playing some too much Tekken, and he owns that controller like no tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, my dad broke <laughs> my PS like two controller. I thought it would tell me what's next, but I guess not. Not. Until oh it's no, ready. that's story plot related. Are you serious, the Moago? <laughs> The last skill won't become available until uh, something plot-wise happens. I mean, you know, that is the uh, Magatama that the kid g gave to you. Oh. The thing that started your rise to power. So basically, I'm done with this one for now. Yeah, you're done with that one for now. Alrighty, so taunt, force boost, focus, and then the next one to try is fog breath. So let's do that. So, which one are you going for? Fog Breath. It's like, it's, it's ready to learn it next, and I figured, why not? This oh. one's almost done. Okay, that's good, because if I remember correctly, Fog Breath is a much better version of one of the skills that you already have. Ooh, ooh, that sounds like something for ice. No, um... Then fire? No. Tornado? Nope. Then what? <laughs> that covers all the elements. Well, uh, if you'll look at your skills, uh, it's either going to be uh, Secunda, Terunda, Avracunda, but one of those... Except instead of just like lowers uh, blank all enemies, it greatly lowers. Oh wow! To where it's like three castings in one move or something like that. Wow, geez, that sounds pretty good. And of course, you know, it hits all enemies and uh, stuff like that. So yeah, it's essentially a better version of like something you already have. Oh, I thought there was gonna be something down here. How disappointing! <laughs> all this stuff in the way. Yeah. Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just a wall. <laughs> that was a door. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that you even check. Did you come here from the Great Underpass? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I did. Oh, I've been. I'm forgetting names of places because it's not consistent to play this game yet. Ah, <laughs> uh, is the hideout still okay? I what? don't get to answer that one. <laughs> and I was like, "What hideout are you talking about?" Just grab him. You shut up about that right now. <laughs> oh, where am I now? There's drapes. Oh, okay. Yeah. This place, although it seems big, it isn't really all that big and confusing. Yeah, it just looks confusing. Right. Yeah! <laughs> Sorry, just like when I get a critical all of a sudden, it's pretty good. <laughs> ah, I see. So, anyways, uh, but yeah, like, uh, that's, uh, like, these choke... Uh, oh, oh, yeah, uh, uh, no. no. Yeah, uh, full Kagatsuchi. So, yeah, I was just thinking, that's pretty neat. I can take a Choco Chick, raise it into a Choco Bow, and if I ever want, because I unlock the uh, creature, so to speak, I can transform it into a white Choco Bow, or I can transform it into a black Choco Bow, and, like, I can just uh, switch off whatever state I want it to be in. But uh, I, I just thought, like, wait, that's right, I never got rid of that poison or healed myself, but apparently I am, and I don't know when that happens. It was probably when your uh, Magatama... Oh, just... yeah, I leveled up in that same battle. <laughs> so this has the standards of... I can't think of a specific RPG that did that, actually. I'm trying to think of one that I know that did the whole, it heals you when you level up, but I can't remember... <laughs> <laughs> um, well, no, I mean, your thing went wild and, like, uh, did a healing light on you, so... No, I'm even more dumb, because I forgot that. <laughs> but, that's right, I was too... I was too shocked at my being mashed through without me pressing anything. Granted, the controller also rumbled on that, so that might have something to do with... It vibrated the circuit board where it connects the pin to the push pad, somehow, to where it thought it was just enough to push the button. I hope that's yeah. not the case, because you're going to need a new PS2 controller, I don't know. Uh, Oh, and uh, to clarify, like, uh, my dad didn't mess up the Player 2 controller from, like, getting angry or anything. I didn't say he got angry. Like, you know, just... he kicks my butt more often than not yeah. on tanking, and it's just like, man, does he just jam on that controller. Like, there's literally an indent in the plastic. Yeah, I know. It's very <laughs> visible. Not you guys again. Yeah. What are you waiting for? It's not like uh, the controller looks broken or anything like that. It's just that, like, you can see, like, this indent of, like, you know, god dang, has someone been pounding down on this You thing. can tell it's been heavily used. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, anyways. Uh, so, uh, uh, was, okay, the chocobos, like, how you can just switch up. Like, hey, I think it'd be neat if Pokemon had that. And that way you'd finally have your excuse to evolve Pikachu into a Raichu, but then lower him back down into a Pikachu. Because it's all just part of this great Wait. evolution that you could slide your creatures between. Okay, I feel like I'm a little lost right now, because I went up this escalator and that got me the treasure box. But... Down here on this floor, I've already found everything. So... Where do I go now? This is the end of the room. 
There's nowhere else to go. I'm a little confused here. Ah, okay. So you're already at that point, huh? I guess so. I didn't go anywhere else yet. Well, uh, there's uh, two things you can do. You can either show off a rare enemy, or you can continue with the plot of the game, so to speak. I thought this was the area I needed to do to continue, but... Uh, no, don't you remember those uh, stairs I told you? Avoid? Oh, crap, what room was that in? <laughs> it's in that in-between connecting room right there. Uh, where I'm at right now? Oh, you mean the big one right there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, uh, okay, so you want to continue. Well, the, uh, the rare encounter would be this thing that I only encountered a few times. And now it'd be you would actually run into mannequins as enemies. Whoa, that is pretty weird. Yeah, and uh, the thing is, they would just stand there and they'd do their little jiggle, but they'd be holding knives. The thing is, though, like, I realized, yeah, we encountered them like enemies, but I didn't want to attack them. So, like, uh, whenever that encounter happened, I always blocked. Because I was like, okay, you know what? I need to justify this to myself. So, if when they attack me, that's when I will attack. The thing is, though, after usually three rounds of doing nothing but defending, they would just stand there and at some point just run away. <laughs> so I was like, wait, these mannequin things, they, they don't attack me at all unless I attack them? But I was just surprised that they, I was encountering mannequins that could even fight back to begin with. So I was like, can I recruit the mannequin enemies? And you can't. Nah, you can't. And, whoa, that's liquid. Yeah, it is liquid. Hold on, let me try this again. There we go. Huh just pools with what look like their bodies. Mannequin bodies. Interesting. Well, go save. I was just going to talk to him. Okay. The tall building up ahead is the headquarters of the Mantra. You shouldn't go near it. Oh. Okay. Where's the safe one at? Uh, to your left. It's that, uh, you know, the safe one icon on your map. Okay. Oh, okay. It's just right out there. No, it's not. It's right over here past the healing. Oh, uh, okay. Actually, hold on just a moment. Hold on just a... No, stop talking to me. But don't you need to heal everybody? Yes, I do, but I'm going to run into a battle before the save point, so I'm going to get that out of the way. Ah, okay. <laughs> you know it's going to have it right in front of the door, and I won't be able to run for some reason. Okay, it's just you losers. I'll just punch you in the grundle. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I thought that's a really neat mechanic uh, between the various creatures and stuff like that. Like, yeah, they're variants of uh, more or less the same creature, but still, I like the idea that I can unlock higher tier versions of the Chocobo. But whatever things I get with the Chocobo, even if I could transfigure it back down to a Choco Chick, you know, it'll still be just as strong and have all the skills that it learned as a Chocobo. Mm -hmm. It's like, ah, oh, the, the Choco Chick only has Cure, and as a Chocobo, I can learn Cura. Well, okay, fine, just unlock the ability to transform into a Chocobo, learn Cura, and then just like go back to being a Choco Chick, and now you have a chick with a Cura on it and stuff. You know, I'm a little bit out of it when I try to leave the room, but I forgot that it's only just a picture to look at, and leave <laughs> is the X button, I mean, the exiting thing. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> that's why I went back in, I was ready to exit the door. <laughs> oh, jeez. Slot one. Okay. Uh. From the sounds of it, I'm about to run into Dante if I have to save, and he must be sort of tough. <laughs> I mean, from what I understand, he's supposed to be. I mean, he's a guest. It can't be easy. Hmm. Can't have pushover guests. Oh, you know, he was put in here at the same time that Matador was. And you know how Matador is when you're not using buffs like a pro. Yes, because you, you see, you have to be careful because he's so mad at those doors. That was an awful pun. And a stretch of the human language at that. Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait. The human language. <laughs> <laughs> yes, English is the human language! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, that's a stretch at the English language of a Spanish word, is the best way to put that. Now, what was I about to do before- okay, that's right, not that, menu, okay. Inugami is about to level up, yes, I do believe so. With 304, no, I guess, yeah, it was her, okay, I was looking at the screen wrong. I thought I should be wary about who is about to level up next, but it, it's no big deal. Okay, so now may I continue? Yes. Feel free to go up those stairs. Monster demons rampage about, doing whatever their instincts tell them to. I'm jealous. Well, that's neat, I guess. No boxes here. Ah, uh, you know, the freedom to do whatever you want is quite the nice power to have. Oh, hello. I've come here to join the mantra so that I can become just like the great king. Hee-ho! But I'm too scared to go in, hee ho! There's fire! Hot fire! Oh no, it's dull! Oh jeez! 
Oh, don't worry, Bucko. I'm sure you won't melt, but I'm made of snow. Oh, well, I guess that's a problem. Well, games are screwed then. Sorry. <laughs> Just stop with the. Uh, uh, I can't remember the word. Encouragement. Thank you. <laughs> what was the word? <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I like that about World of Final Fantasy. Like, he says, like, oh, it's a behemoth, you know, those creatures. And, but yet there's baby versions of them that you can get and stuff. If you want, you can totally, like, rock the baby version all throughout your quest in that game. And, like, but you can still learn the moves that behemoth learns, like meteor and stuff like that. Hmm. Got more and more magic, and she learns seduce. Which, uh, is like, I think, like, that's nice. It would be nice if Pokemon, like, had this be a thing. Like, it felt like that they really could wanted to and just make some, you know, really, like, a half-hearted excuse. That, like, oh, there's this group that knows evolution, and because of that, they can de-evolve your Pokemon or what have you. Because trainers sometimes feel nostalgic for the good old days. Are there actually rooms? Yeah, I just realized I missed like four doors. I was like, wait, that was four doors, not just three. I only win life stones with the junk shop's lucky tickets. I don't need stupid life stones. I want that. You know, all that. Uh, you mean the thing I have? Yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> then. Cue Demi Fiend unzipping his shorts. <laughs> no, not that. We got ourselves a sucker. Uh oh. Let's take everything he got. Is this mannequins? No, it's just these guys. The demon suddenly attacked. Eh. No big deal. Ah. Now granted, I forget if they have a weakness. I want to say ice? Uh, I think they're weak to mind attacks. Oh, okay. So, I'm just gonna ice them. Anyway. Well, that was lucky. Mm, well, time to critical for days. Cause she doesn't have a mind attack. That's somebody else in my group. Yeah, but you remember the whole thing when you're incapacitated, incapacitated right? Yes, I do remember when they're incapacitated. <laughs> hey, wait, if I do Feral Bot, that should do good damage. Oof, he did do good damage and killed him. So, not this, because that's not mind. So, I guess I'll just attack him. And, eh, I'm not going to get lucky with Ice Breath again. I'll just punch him. That's, that'll teach him. Oh no, he went berserk on me. I only hit two of my guys. And now he's dead. He made the elephant mad. <laughs> so, did you get all the things you wanted to get, guys? <laughs> <laughs> if death was one of them, you have it now. <laughs> he, got me he got the media. Yeah, it's all in his control now. <laughs> he wants to talk to me. Will you listen? I have no need for this. You can have it. This poison. Alright. Ooh, he's gonna level up next level, maybe. Meanwhile, Nozuchi needs to level up. Hey, look, it's a. Oh, wait, I just. There's stuff here? Wow. Let's see what I got. Wow, I am. Bead! I am sorry, Suyor. I, I told him that there was nothing across, like, those uh, bridges that he had to worry about. It's late to the rumbling, because as soon as I hit by the trap, the controller rumbled and skipped past saying it was a trap. Huh. So that's weird. That... Oh, lucky me. That might not be good. No, uh, it won't be. Strength in sense. Oh, boy. Do you want to turn off the rumble? Uh, can we? Yeah, it should be in the options. Uh, vibration. I didn't mind it, but that's a problem right there. All right, let's see. Strength in sense. Yeah, I mean, there it it's is. like uh, when I was leading Suyo through this part, I told him there was nothing up there that was important. Right, strength that one heals HP. Okay. Well, I'll just use it on me, because why not, right? Right. I mean, is there any reason not to? Like, it's not like you're ever not going to be there. Actually, thinking about it, even more of a reason is the reason not to on me, the main character, <laughs> and not a demon. Because when we can start abusing the crap out of money in Magatamas, <laughs> then we can just do that anyway with sacrificial scissors. If you feel so inclined. Well, I will feel inclined. i got to make my new Megami. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's a new way! I think that's what he's called. Demon, I guess not. Nihilo is bad, Nihilo is trash. I eat them all. Okay. I'm pretty sure that thing, this thing was in Rado Kuzano, huh? Yeah. So it's all weird and stuff. And you are, Nihilo demons are. They're just whimpering dogs. Those pathetic puppets. Bah. I don't know why I think you should sound like a crotchety old man like that. Nui? Is that how you pronounce it? Well, going off the rule still of the whole, I've learned the E's are always pronounced in Japan. So if we're going off of romanization with lettering to make sense of their language, ah. then that applies. 
Gozu Tenno gave us demons power, and he's got lots of it, that's for sure. Okay, is that all you're here for? Just the one ambush, and okay, that's pretty good. Just the one ambush, and all that. Uh, it's just the one door on the left, yeah? Yes. <laughs> wow. Where the hell's that door? Oh, I passed it. it! Where was it? Oh, okay, I just didn't see it. <laughs> hey, what's in here? Nothing, except for you. I heard that Nihilo has a demon that gains experience without ever fighting. That's some skill those Nihilo demons have. Right, so it's one of those bench XP things. Ah, okay. <laughs> well, uh, surprisingly, this little side venture has taken a bit more time than expected. And I, uh, will have to finish up my thoughts, uh, about, uh, World of Final Fantasy in the next episode. Mind if I still keep killing these guys? No problem, they'll be dead by the time we get back. Alrighty then, see you next time everybody. Blob! Blob, part of the Fowl family. An infamous jelly-like monster. It swallows humans and grows. It is said that the only way to stop Blobs is to freeze them. Oh my god, so this is just a thing. Like, the, the evil monster the thing, or wait, no wait, the Blob is what it was the movie I'm thinking of. I thought in that movie, like, the blob destroyed the world. Well, well of you mode, in yeah. that movie that I saw, the blob just ate everybody, and they could only kill it with fire extinguishers. Hmm, so they froze it. Yes, which is, I don't think that's how like, fire extinguishers work, but eh, screw it, media. Huh, okay, so this is just straight up a movie monster. It seems like it might be. That's just, like, I thought I'm, that sounded too familiar. There's actually a monster like that in Zombies Ate My Neighbors. It's just a bunch of blob monsters you only kill them with fire extinguisher. I mean, actually you can kill by other stuff, but it's like the only real good way. So we move on? Yes, we're gonna go through all of them. Preta. <laughs> of the Hunt family. They are hungry ghosts, as they are unable to swallow food. This is a punishment in reincarnation. One with too many desires in life is doomed to spend time as a Preta. Wow, that's actually not as super bad as it sounded. <laughs> They're doomed to spend time as a Preta, not eternity. Well, considering how reincarnation works, that means you spend a lifetime as a Preta. Oh. And since people have, like, billions of lifetimes ahead of them. But, uh, so is it like wearing underwear, or is it just, no, just a black thing there? Just got a little diddly bopper down there. Hey. For not being able to eat food and stuff, they sure do like having a good laugh once in a while. Ugh. <laughs> Karanzan, part of the Haunt family, a demon that was summoned by a sorcerer named Crowley at the beginning of the 20th century. When he lost control of the demon, it possessed him. It is the last hurdle in conquering the dark side of the eagle. Huh. That sounds remotely familiar for some reason for a backstory. Kinda oh. reminds me of the N64 game Nightmare Creatures, where there's a main bad guy named Crowley and he summons a bunch of demons. Bunch of all legiony faces. This guy looked particularly sad. This guy on the bottom has the worst of it, though. He's the bottom head. <laughs> and here's this one on the top, forever to drown in the rain. He looks kind of dead, actually, compared to the rest. Or sleeping, and he just sleeps with his mouth open. Oh well.